In this video, I'm going over a stock market investing principle that most never learn. And understanding this principle will enable you to confidently invest through the hard times in the market. Let's get into it. My name is Christian. Welcome to my channel. My passion is personal finance, and I hope to inspire you to create a path to financial freedom. So unfortunately, many new stock market investors skip a very important lesson that should be understood before making your first investment. This lesson or fundamental I'm referring to is the behavior of the stock market. Not fully understanding how the stock market functions commonly leads to investors prematurely selling their stocks and losing out on significant gains. And this goes for the average Joe simply investing in a 401k and for the person who's buying individual stocks on platforms like Robinhood, your average retail investor. In order to get the most out of your stock market investing efforts, I think first and foremost, you must understand the basic behavior and cyclical nature of the stock market. There's periods of steady appreciation. These are called bull markets. And there's periods of sustained decline or stagnation. And these are called bear markets. As a recent example, we were in a bear market cycle from 2007 to 2009 as a result of the subprime mortgage crisis. We then moved into a record bull market from 2009 to 2020 until the COVID crash of 2020. And because the COVID crash was more of a black swan event with such a quick recovery, many think we're actually still in that bull market cycle. Now, when it comes to these cycles in particular, you must understand that market crashes, corrections, and bear markets are normal. On average, the stock market has gone into correction once every two years and gone into a full bear market cycle once every seven years. Volatility and decline are inherent behaviors, and of course, so is growth and appreciation. And after every period of significant decline, the market has recovered and appreciated, sometimes quicker than others. But nevertheless, in the long term, as America has continued to prosper, the market has gone up. As a matter of fact, as we can see here, the market goes up more often than it goes down. But right now we are seeing a lot of volatility in the market. Given everything going on, the virus variants, inflation, the Fed raising rates, the conflict in Ukraine and oil prices rising. And if we look at the S&P 500 over the past three months, we are getting close to correction territory. Looking ahead, I think we should expect continued volatility. As many notable figures in the world of finance have asserted, we very well may be on the brink of a bear market. Now, drama aside, one benefit of understanding and accepting this general market behavior is you know what to expect. And when you know what to expect, the pill is a little easier to swallow when times get tough. Ultimately, you must be able to stomach the drama. You have to be able to look at the big picture and remember when there's drama in the news and uncertainty on the horizon, the market will likely decline and that's to be expected. And if this notion of being okay with downturns, declines and volatility doesn't seem like something you'll be able to do, then don't do it. The stock market probably isn't for you and that's all right. There's other ways to invest your money. Maybe try investing in real estate. Real estate has been a great wealth building tool over time. But if you can understand and embrace the normal behavior of the stock market, you'll have an edge over most investors. And that will enable you to effectively navigate the ups and downs to your advantage. Warren Buffett describes this concept as being greedy when others are fearful and being fearful when others are greedy. So if you started investing before you learned this concept, you got started on the wrong track. This concept should be the first thing you learn and acknowledge prior to committing your money in the market. But this time it's different. This is the most common feeling people get when a major event occurs that crashes the market. The belief that this one is different and worse than any crash before, and I must liquidate my stocks while I can so they don't go to zero. Some examples of when this market sentiment existed was the stagflation and recession of the 70s when the market essentially traded flat for a decade, the 1987 crash known as Black Monday, the dot-com crash in 2000, and the subsequent decline from the conflict in the Middle East, and of course the 2008 financial crisis and the pandemic crash of 2020. Each one of these carried that same uncertainty and feeling that this time it's different. But during those times, everyone who embraced that thought process and sold their stocks out of fear was wrong. After each of those declines, the market has recovered and gone higher. America just really has a way of pulling through hard times and moving on. Here's the stock market from the 70s to present day. As we can see, an overall upward trend in a 10.9% annualized rate of return to be exact. After the 70s recession, we had market recovery and appreciation throughout the 80s, until the Black Monday crash in 87, which at the time 
was the biggest single decline in stock market history. But after that, we pretty much had recovery and appreciation up until the dot-com crash in 2000. We then went into a bear market until 2002 and then saw further recovery and appreciation again until the 2008 financial crisis, which puts us into another bear market until 2009 where we recovered and then went into a record bull market going up for 11 years until the 2020 COVID crash, which was a black swan event. And after one of the quickest recoveries, the market continued to appreciate until now. And yeah, there's been some recent decline and there's a lot going on right now that could lead us into a bear market or not. The world may rally against Russia and things may turn around quicker than expected. And then we continue to see further appreciation in the market. We don't know, but what we do know is there will always be something dramatic going on. When is there not? You have to learn to accept it, acknowledge the inherent volatility, and stay focused on the long term. So with all that, what's the guidance? Well, first off, when the market starts to crash, don't panic sell. When there's uncertainty in the market or when a crash occurs, the worst thing you could do is sell. Unfortunately, what happens often is there'll be a sharp 5% decline in a day, news outlets report on it, it seems bad, and investors get spooked and sell everything. And by 10 a.m. the next day, the market goes back up and it's as if nothing ever happened. On to the next story. Don't get fooled into thinking this time it's different. Remember, the market has crashed once every decade or so. It's a normal part of the market. Embrace it. Take advantage of it. I think it's nice to have some cash on the side for these times and have the ability to put some money to work when prices are low. Stay committed on your path to financial independence. If you didn't learn this initially, hopefully you understand it now and you're able to continue investing with confidence going forward. I was kind of inspired to make this video because recently I've had people ask me, what are my thoughts on the current state of the market? I see increased volatility and potential decline. Not the best news, but I know in the long run, this is just a phase within the normal behavior pattern of the market. And so when asked, what am I doing? My response is nothing really. Still investing every month and trying to be a bit more aggressive with my investing when the market dips. That's it. This mindset and understanding enables confidence and conviction. And it's nice to have confidence and conviction when it comes to investing your hard earned money. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you got value from this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel for more personal finance content. I'll see you guys in the next one.